Here I have paper by Fornberg from the Journal of Fluid Mechanics, 1980, um, in which you know which uh, does a numerical study of uh, the steady viscous flow past a circular cylinder. And if I go to page 32, there is a plot of pressure versus theta, where theta is the angle from the um, the back of the cylinder. So I want to make a similar plot in CFD post. So I'll go to CFD post and the first thing I need to do is create an expression for theta. So let me do that. So I'll go under, you know, you might be in outline. Go to the expressions tab and uh, right click anywhere and say new. New expression and call it theta expression and since I already have one I'll call it two. You don't need the two um, because you're doing it for the first time presumably. And I need the cosine inverse of the x location at the point. Um, so x gives me this distance um, and then divide it by the, uh, the radius. You'll see that in a second. So right click on functions CEL A cosine and then right click variables other and I have to say geometric X. Okay X divided by the radius of the cylinder which is 0.5 and I have to give it the units because uh, CFD post keeps us honest with units. And if I say apply that says it's a radian uh, you know, it's a variable in radian. So that gives me the angle of, you know, of any point on the surface of the cylinder from the, the back surface, from the, from the back point on the surface. The flow is coming in from here. Okay, and then I can't plot expressions, but I can plot variables. So I have to create a variable from the expression. So I can right click anywhere and say new, and I'll call this theta 2 and again I'm doing it for the second time so I'm, I'll call it uh, I'll have the 2 you don't need to have the 2 and I'll create it from an expression so the theta expression 2 that I just created okay and apply so now I have my um, X, you know, I have the variables, uh, the, the theta variable that I want to plot, and I want to plot it over the cylinder surface. Um, so let's, uh, you know, we need to define the cylinder surface, um, and let's do that. Uh, so I have to go under file, you know, if I actually not file, I have to go under outline, and if I, you know, highlight the cylinder surface that comes in, uh, I will see that it's actually extruded. You know, CFD pose brings in 2D entities as 3D by extruding it. Um, and then if I highlight symmetry 1, I see that, you know, that's the front plane. And so if I intersect cylinder with symmetry 1, I will get the line that I want. So let's do that. Say location, uh, polyline, and I'll call this cylinder surface 2. You don't need to have the 2. And I'll say from boundary intersection. So I'll highlight the, you know, if I hover over cylinder, I see it highlighted over here. And I want to intersect that with symmetry 1. I see that highlighted. And I'll say apply. And if I hide, you know, if I hide the surface and this surface, Okay, and I select that, I can see it's a cylinder surface I want. So if I click on Z, and if I zoom in here, um, I see that's a cylinder surface. I can deselect it and select it. Okay, that's my confirmation. So now I have all the entities that I need to make the plot. Um, so I'll go ahead and make the plot. So I will say um, chart. And I'll say P versus theta. Okay, 
I have to say two <laughs> because I already have that. And under data series, I'll say location is cylinder surface two. Along the horizontal axis, plot x, the x distance, actually, sorry, theta two. Along the vertical axis, plot the gauge pressure, that's a default, apply. Okay, and if I compare that to what Fonberg has, he has, you know, he has the horizontal axis flipped. Uh, so he is going from the front of the cylinder to the back, whereas this is going from the back to the front. And I can, you know, just say invert axis here and apply. Oops, sorry, not this one. Actually, I have to go to um, x axis and invert axis. Okay, and then you can compare this to the Fonberg paper and you'll see that, you know, for Reynolds number of 20, the two plots look um, look very similar and then you can, um, you know, you, you, you can export, you know, you can say image, there's a camera icon here, okay? You can save the picture. You can also export the data into Excel and, and plot it in, in Excel.